Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have my August book of the month box, so let's check it out and see what's inside. Here is a look at my August box, and this is the book I chose this month. This book is called Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This is a thriller, and the quick take says, Crumbling Estate? Check. Bundle of Family Secrets? Check. Folks getting picked off like flies? Check trust no one. The grandmother invited her family to her house for her 80th birthday, so I'm assuming people are going to die. I'm not quite sure. I love a good thriller. The other choices for August included a contemporary fiction called When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Julian Medoff. A literary fiction called The Many Daughters of Afong Moy. This is by Jamie Ford. I've heard so many good things about this one, and this is also Jenna Bush's August book of the month. If you ordered this one, let me know in the comments below how you liked it because I think I'm gonna add it to my box next month. Horror book, The Devil Takes You Home by Gabino Iglesias. A thriller called Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter. What a name for a thriller writer. A gothic fiction called Small Angels by Lauren Owen. Historical fiction called Bronze Drum by Fong Gwen. So let's check out the other books I ordered this month. With the book of the month, you can choose one of the choices that they highlight for book of the month, and then you can choose up to two add-ons for an additional cost. So I chose two add-ons, and the first one is one I've been eyeing for quite a while. This is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. This is a historical fiction, and it is a saga of Koreans living in Japan, rejected by the country they call home. So I've heard so many good things about this one, so I cannot wait to dive into this one as well. And I have one more book at the bottom, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This one is sci-fi. The quick take on this one is the author doesn't just build a world, he builds a whole multiverse with a very singular love story at its core. This one was actually recommended to me, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. At the bottom of the box is the book of the month bookmark, and this one says, read like your TBR is watching. Those were my books for August, and I wanted to go over my July books real quick. My book of the month choice for July was Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, and I think I'm in the minority, but I did not love this book. I did read the entire thing, and I did appreciate the character Sam and Sadie. I thought the author did a great job with those characters. But I just wasn't mesmerized by this book. I kept wanting to put it down. I, I just wasn't completely interested. Everyone else seems to love it. It got great reviews. So that was just maybe a quirk for me that I didn't love this one. I do love video games and this was written as characters of my generation. But again, just kept trying to put it down. The next book that I read was The It Girl by Ruth Ware. Ruth Ware always has a large cast of suspects and you do not know where the book is going. And this one was the same way. I loved it. It went back to there was a murder on a college campus 10 years ago. Some new evidence came to light and the main character Hannah starts investigating once again. I love this book. It was a thrilling ride. I highly recommend it. The other book I ordered this month was The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. And oh my goodness, I love this book as well. I don't really even know where to begin with this one. This spans from the 1940s to present day. It follows the life of Cyril Avery and all of his ups and downs. And this one, opposite of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, I could not put this one down. It was like middle of the night and I wanted to keep reading one more chapter. This one kind of gave me the Lincoln Highway vibes because it is one large encompassing story with a lot of small stories within it. So I just love this one. I did not want to put it down. It is a love story, a heartbreak story, every other story in between, and I highly recommend it. On a much lighter note, I also grabbed another Ellen Hildebrand book this month. I read The Golden Girl, and I grabbed this one because I had read Hotel Nantucket in June, and I love that one so much. And I do love the Hotel Nantucket a lot better than Golden Girl, but this was good. It was a page turner. It's part mystery because the main character, Vivian, she is a famous author and a mother of three. She is killed in a hit and run at the beginning of the book. After she dies, she's able to continue to watch her children and to see what is unfolding in their lives. So part of the story is just watching to see what happens with the kids, the choices that they make. The other half is figuring out who actually hit her. The third element is that Vivian had just published a new novel right before she got hit. 
and one of her secrets comes to light in that novel. So this one had a lot going on. It still has that beautiful Nantucket setting with the characters and the locations and the food. So this was my second Ellen Hildebrand book and I'm definitely gonna grab another one. So if you have one you recommend, let me know in the comments below. The last book I read in July was The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This was made into a series on, I believe, Amazon Prime, so it's super popular. I have not watched the show, but I am glad I borrowed this book. This is just a cute YA novel, and everyone's talking Team Jeremiah or Team Conrad. And I say, what about Team Cam? Justice for Cam. But I loved it, I enjoyed it. It was a fun, quick read, and I'm definitely gonna read the other two in the series. That was everything in my August Book of the Month unboxing. If you are interested in trying Book of the Month, I will have a coupon code in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.